हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर शादाब अहमद मोहम्मद कंसल्टेंट इंटरनेशनल कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट एट केयर हॉस्पिटल्स मलकपेट सो टुडे वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच इज हार्ट अटैक और माइक्रोडल इन्फॉक्शन सो इन कॉमन टर्म्स इफ यू से हार्ट अटैक सो इन मेडिकल टर्म इट इज नोन एज माइक्रोडल इन्फॉक्शन सो द टर्म माइक्रोडल इन्फॉक्शन मीन्स दैट एनी इंजुरी टू द माइकार्डियम दैट इज हार्ट मसल so if we see it is the most important cause of mortality and morbidity worldwide so it is the most important cause of death in the world so what are the important causes of heart attack so first we'll see why uh, someone gets a heart attack what is the function of heart so which will be compromised someone gets a heart attack so if you see the heart it's an important organ of our body and it is an important muscle uh, its action is to pump blood to the entire body so it uh, works every second it has to work and it has to work properly to pump blood to the entire body so whenever this uh, uh, pumping uh, effect compromises this leads to heart attacks so there is an important term called atherosclerosis which means that the blood supply of heart is compromised so the blood supply to the heart is by three important blood vessels in the uh, which supply blood to the heart so when the blood supply to uh, the heart is compromised because of the blocks in the blood vessels this leads to heart attack so this can occur suddenly or it can develop over time so most commonly the uh, blocks they develop slowly over a time and then suddenly whenever the block it's uh, 100% occlusion then it leads to major heart attack by birth there is some deposition of fat occurring in the blood vessels of the heart which increases after 40 years of age and because of some risk factors so this leads to blocks in the blood vessels of the heart so what are the important risk factors for developing this heart attacks risk factors is a term used for some uh, conditions which when present in the body of a person leads to increased risk of heart attack so there are some non modifiable risk factors which cannot be modified and there are some modifiable risk factors so non modifiable risk factors are increased age or male gender and family history so if someone has a family history of heart attack in their parents or siblings in the in early years then they are also at risk of developing heart attack so this cannot be modified but the modifiable risk factors are smoking high blood sugar that is diabetes high B, uh, blood pressure that is hypertension physical inactivity obesity and high cholesterol levels so when when uh, we can modify all these modifiable risk factors and then con- control our uh, uh, risk of getting heart attack to a major extent and then other thing which is important is the symptoms of heart attack so what are the common symptoms of heart attack so when someone gets a heart attack the common symptoms they experience is a chest pain which can be in the center of the chest and it can radiate from the center of the chest to left side or left arm or to the jaw or it can also relate to the back that is uh, in back of the chest and along with the chest pain they also develop difficulty in breathing that is called dyspnea so and along with the uh, chest pain and dyspnea patient can also experience sweating which can be profuse and some patients also experience giddiness and they can also collapse, collapse or uh, experience a fainting attack so how to treat the heart attack so whenever someone gets a heart attack it's an emergency so you have to go to the nearest hospital and get your ecg done if you are experiencing symptoms like chest pain or difficulty in breathing and if the ecg shows a heart attack which can be of two types that is st elevation heart attack or st non elevation mi so st elevation mi is an emergency which needs to be treated in an emergency condition with an emergency angioplasty whereas non st elevation mi can be uh, treated it's also, it's, it's also needs admission and then we can do an angiogram and then if there is a block identified in your arteries it has to be opened up so along with this uh, angiogram and angioplasty there is an emergency treatment given which is we give some blood thinner medicines and uh, medicines to control the cholesterol so whenever someone at, uh, experience an, uh, a heart attack there is always a lifelong risk of developing uh, heart attack again so you have to use some medicines for life long that is blood thinner medicines and cholesterol lowering medicines 
and how to prevent a heart attack so there are common things which can be done to prevent heart attack as we all know prevention is better than cure so to prevent heart attacks you need to modify your risk factors like high blood pressure high blood sugar should be controlled you have to maintain a proper level of physical activity and stop smoking if someone is smoking and along with that you have to also control your cholesterol levels so any person after 35 years of age should get their cholesterol levels checked regularly and it should be controlled to the desirable effect so by controlling all these risk factors and modifying all the risk factors and living a proper healthy life and uh, adapting a proper healthy diet you can lower your risk of heart attacks to a major extent thank you